Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at the split strategy for our edition mental strategy series. The split strategy is extremely versatile and is actually one of the quickest ways in order to add small and high numbers together, especially when used at the same time as other strategies. So we'll jump straight into it. Basically what you're doing with the split strategy is you're adding two or more numbers and you're looking at splitting them up into their place value units. So here we've got a 24 consisting of a 20 and a four and 32 with a 30 and a two. So generally always good to start with the biggest numbers first. So in this way we've split two tens and three tens. So we're just gonna pop in 20 plus 30 below. Now that's a very easy one to add up if you know that the zero is a placeholder at the end of each of these numbers. So if we add them both together, we should get a 50. Then the second step of the split strategy in this case is to add the units or this, the ones. We've got four ones and two ones here. So we're gonna pop a four just down there and two for our number sentence. And that is gonna equal six for us. Now we're not quite done with the split strategy Great way to do it is to line them up nice and evenly wherever you're doing your working out and to add the two numbers together. So we've got 50 plus six. If I make another number sentence down here, 50 plus six is equal to 56. It's a very simple strategy, very easy to use once you get the hang of it. And um, we might do another example with a much larger number. Okay, we've got a much larger number here. We have 437 plus 822. So a little bit more tricky than our original example that we looked at, but the technique remains the same. So I'm just gonna use a red marker here to break up my two numbers into their place value columns. So again, just as before, starting with the largest place value, so 400s and 800s. So I'm just going to create another number sentence, 400 plus 800 equals now 4 plus 8 is 12. And you can just add the two zeros on the end to give us 1,200 there. Um, the next place value column is the tens. We've got three tens and two tens, which is 30 plus 20. We know that equals from our previous equation example. That is going to equal 50 for us. Make sure again that you line it up as best as you can because it makes it a lot easier. The last one we're adding up for this example is seven plus two. Um, and that's just seven ones and two ones or units depending on what language you are using. So seven plus two, which we know is equal to nine. Now this one's a little bit tricky because we are adding three numbers. Now because the place value lines up really well in the split strategy. That is actually very easy just to line them up and add them together in what is basically a longer, um, what used to be called a formal algorithm. So uh, in the units column, we've got a zero, zero and a nine. So we can write a nine in that one. In the tens column, we've got a five and a zero. So that's gonna be five representing 50. And because we've got no other numbers in the hundreds or thousands column, we can just have that 12 and we can put it right there into our number. To make, our, to make it a little bit uh, neater, we are just gonna go 437 uh, plus 822 is equal to 1,259. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, Remember the key with split strategy is to keep them lined up and to only think about adding the same numbers from the same place value column. Um, we'll be looking at some other strategies soon and also how to combine some strategies to make it a lot easier to complete these addition strategies in your head and also on paper. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you.